हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान्ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट स्ट्रेंथ एंड एफिशिएंसी ऑफ अ बोल्टेड कनेक्शन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट डिजाइनिंग बोल्टेड कनेक्शन वी विल सी द स्टेप्स इन डिजाइन एंड वी विल सॉल्व two problems on design in this video now to design the bolted connection means what to select proper diameter of the bolt calculate its bolt value determine the number of bolts required provide suitable and appropriate arrangement of the bolts so that the efficiency will be more provide appropriate pitch age and end distance as per is 800 2007 in short we have to provide all these things so that the design will be simple safe and economical okay so what are the steps in the design first step select suitable diameter of bolt and calculate its bolt value second one calculate the number of bolts required as factor load to be resisted by the connection divided by bolt value the third one arrange the bolts such that the cg of bolt group coincides with the cg of load line to avoid eccentricity and the last one provide appropriate pitch age distance and end distance as per is 800 2007 okay so this will be very clear to you when we will solve the examples let us take the first example a tie member in a roof truss is isa 60 by 60 by 6 it is connected to a 12 mm thick gusset plate using 16 mm diameter bolts of grade 4.6 design the lab joint for the ultimate load of 90 kN the gusset plate is of grade fe410 this is a very simple example now what are the things given in this diameter is given 16 mm so diameter of the hole is 16 plus 2 that is 18 mm we have to provide lap joint so for lap joint we know that ns plus nn is equal to 1 we take ns is equal to 0 so nn will be equal to 1 now as usual find out vdsb i have written direct value of vdsb how do we calculate vdsb come on fub into bracket nn into n anb plus ns into asb bracket complete divided by root 3 into gamma b okay so in short it will be vdsb will be equal to okay vdsb will be equal to how do we calculate vdsb 400 that is fub multiplied by into bracket what is anb for 16 mm that is 157 into 1 bracket complete because ns is equal to 0 so second term will be 0 divided by 1.25 into 10 raised to 3 into root 3 don't forget root 
and you will come to know that its value is 29 kilo newton as usual let us see it is 1 now using minimum pitch and edge distance that is 16 mm therefore pitch is equal to 2.5 into 16 that is 40 mm and 18 into 1.5 okay that is 27 so say 30 mm so if you use p is equal to 40 and e is equal to 30 okay kb is equal to minimum of e upon 3 times d0 first one second p upon 3 times d0 minus 0 0.25 third one is uh, if you be upon if you and fourth one is one okay so if you use that you will get the value of kb as 0.49 okay so i will uh, tell you the exact value so that you will not be in confusion so using these uh, two values that is P is equal to 40 mm, E is equal to 30 mm. This comes out to be 0.49. TP will be 6 mm and 12 mm, minimum of them is 6 mm. Okay. Calculate VDPB by our regular formula. What is the formula? 2.4 into fu into d into tp into kb divided by gamma mb divided by 10 raised to 3 because we have to convert in kilo newton and you will find that vdpb comes out to be 38.57 kilo newton okay so out of 1 and 2, which is minimum is this minimum. So bolt value is 29 kilo Newton. What do we mean by bolt value? Bolt value means strength of one bolt is 29 kilo Newton. So how many bolts are required? It is the ultimate load that is 90 kilo Newton divided by 29. This comes out to be 3.19 that is four numbers. Okay. Therefore, provide 416 mm diameter bolts as shown. So this is a gusset plate. This is the angle section. These four bolts, okay, are shown in one line. This is age distance. This is age distance, okay, or end distance you can say. This is pitch, this is pitch, and this is pitch, okay. So this is the simple problem of lab joint of our angle section to the gusset plate. Do you follow this? Okay. So you calculate these. So as uh, we are doing it every now and then. So we know that 4.6 for 4.6 grade bolt of diameter 16 mm it is 29 kilo Newton. So calculate it as usual. Okay. It is not expected that you should write in the exam direct value. You should calculate it. Okay. So this is regarding the first example. Let us take one more example. So let us take second example. So what is given? Two plates, 100 mm by 16 mm and 100 mm by 10 mm. They are of different thicknesses. Are to be connected by a lab joint to resist a load of 80 kN. Now mind well, here it is not clearly mentioned that whether this load is factored load or ultimate load. Design a lab joint using 20 mm diameter bolts of grade 4.6. Plates are of grade FE410. Okay. Now let us see what are the things given. T1 is 16. T2 is 10. FU is 410. FUB is 400. 4.6. So 400. Diameter of nominal diameter of bolt is 20 mm. So diameter of hole is 20 plus 2 that is 22 mm. Working load is given as 80 kilo Newton and net area at the root of the threads is 245 for 20 mm diameter that we know. 
Now first we will have to calculate the design load. What is the design load? Design load will be working load into 1.5 that is 120 kilo. Now this is also lap joint so definitely the bolts will be in single shear so nn is equal to 1 ns is equal to 0 so strength of bolt in single shear that is vdsb okay how do we calculate it fub upon root 3 into bracket nn into anb plus ns into asb divided by gamma mb here it is 400 into 1 into 245 this is nn into anb ns is 0 so second term is 0 root 3 1.25 into 10 raised to 3 to divide newton into kilo newton you will find that this value comes out to be 45.26 kilo newton okay now we have to design so we don't know what is pitch what is age distance so we will assume that vdpb is greater than vdsb Therefore, bolt value will, will be minimum up to that is 45.26 kilo Newton. Unless we know what is the bolt value, you cannot calculate what are the number of bolts required. Therefore, number of bolts is PD upon BV that is 120 upon 45.26. It comes out to be 2.65 that is 3. Okay. So, what is done? Provide three bolts in a single line as shown at pitch of 50 mm age distance of 35 mm as shown now how pitch is taken minimum pitch 2.5 d that is 2.5 into 20 so it will be 50 okay and 1.5 times d0 that is 1.5 into 22 it is 33 say 35 now how they are joined okay so this you have assumed if somebody assumes this value as different different then there will be difference but this vdpb will change only but it will be definitely greater than that now this is one plate of thickness 10 mm this is another plate of thickness 16 mm these are 2.65 that is three bolts which are provided in one line this is n distance 35 pitch 50 50 n distance 35 okay and this is the load now look here though this is 16 and this is 10 there will be some eccentricity but that eccentricity is negligible and hence it is not taken into account now here we have assumed that VDPB is greater than VDSB. So it is necessary to check whether this assumption is correct or not. So check for VDPB. We know that KB is the least value of 4, 3, 1, E upon 3D0. Put the value of E as 35, okay, and D0 as 22, you will get it as 0.53. Second, pitch upon 3D0 minus 0.25, put the value of pitch as 50 mm okay upon 3 into 22 minus 0.25 it comes out to be 0.55 third one if you be upon if you that is 400 upon 410 it always comes as 0.975 and fourth one is one the minimum of all those four values is 0.51 therefore kb is equal to 0.51 now what is tb tp is minimum of t1 and t2 that is minimum of 10 and 16 that is 10 mm now as usual calculate vdpb by the formula 2.5 into fu into kb into d into tp upon gamma mb that is 2.5 into 410 0.51 20 10 1.25 and this 10 raised to 3 for converting kilo newton into newton into kilo newton it comes out to be 83.64 kilo newton you can very easily see that vdsb is 45 point something vdpb is 83.64 that is whatever assumption we have made is correct therefore the design requires no revision at all if this value comes out to be less than this then you have to revise whole design so this design is complete 
write down the concluding statement provide 320 mm diameter bolts as shown in the figure figure is important okay so with these two problems we saw how to design the lamp joint okay so this is very important okay. in the next lecture we will see two more examples of bolted connections thank you